It is a sunny, hot, and humid day, the perfect recipe for time at the beach. But you may have noticed there's a stronger smell at the ocean front than the usual salt water. 10 on your sides, Kara Dixon gets to the bottom of what's causing it. The Virginia Department of Health says these blooms are typical for this time of the year. But if you see discolored water, the water smells bad, or you see dead fish, they recommend that when in doubt, to stay out. The shining sun and hot temperatures equal the perfect beach day, but it's also a recipe for algae blooms. It's not something that you really want to go swimming in or, or paddling through or things like that. For the last couple of weeks, the Virginia Department of Health has been tracking the blooms here off the ocean front. Blooms that many noticed because of the smell. Uh, the guards certainly noticed it. Everybody noticed it. Chris Moore, who is a senior scientist with the Chesapeake Bay Foundation, says these are common, but... We've had them around for a time. They've definitely become more prevalent over the last 10 years or so. And, you know, from, from our perspective, that's just one of the of our waterway signs are showing us we need to continue to work to improve our waterway. While the reddish brown algae isn't known to be harmful to humans, it can harm other things like the economy. The unfortunate thing about these algae is they can uh, impact our local economy, our local shellfish farmers, uh, folks who are out fishing and things like that because these species do negatively affect fish and oyster populations. But luckily, Moore says we can do things to try to prevent it, such as limiting the use of fertilizer, reducing waste in wastewater, and using cleaner farm practices. The biggest thing we can do to control these is to continue to take the activities to improve water quality in our area throughout Virginia. Now, lifeguards here at the oceanfront deal with a number of problems, including this algae bloom. Coming up in an hour, I'll tell you how they respond to these types of situations and also alert beachgoers. At the oceanfront, I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.